us. Today we are in Berlin or Berlin, Ohio, however you want to pronounce it, here in Amish country. Getting ready to head into the Derbake Oven Cafe. We don't know much about this place. We saw on the sign, they serve lunch, so that's what we're gonna go in here and get. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here are their hours. They serve breakfast all day, and they are open Monday through Saturday, eight to three. The bakery stays open till four. Quick history on the Derbake Oven Bakery and Cafe. This part is where you sit when you go inside to eat. It's a 1940 house. They added this on. It's been in business for around 25 years, so it must be decent to stay in business that long. It used to have six Amish ladies working in the basement, six foot tall ceilings, wasn't big enough, they redesigned it. Now it's a full bakery and you can get lunch and breakfast. And it's made from scratch. Bobby, what do you think about those chairs you're sitting in today? Very comfortable. They roll back. Wow, they do roll back. These are nice. Look at these. So when you come in, you have this seating back in here. You can sit at. Then you can go back in this area and also sit. See, pretty good size table back here. Some more with these comfortable chairs. Let's look at the Derbake oven here in Ohio, Amish country. Here are the breakfast items. A breakfast sandwich, sweet stuff, French toast, yogurt parfait, omelets with toast, breakfast special, German fries, and a la carte. We're here for lunch, so here's the lunch menu starting at 11 o'clock fresh soups of the day, some different salads, small plates, our signature chicken salad, and some quesadillas, and there's the a la carte menu. Sandwiches come with one side option, we have a smoked pulled pork, my grilled cheese, trail bologna, I don't know, hard for me to pass that up. Gourmet burger on Friday and Saturday only, and some side options sweet treats made from scratch pastries half moon pie piece of homemade pie homemade cheesecake ice cream sundae special sundae and a smoothie the espresso bar menu i'll just scan it for you some coffee hot teas cold drinks Flavored iced tea and lemonade. Price update. All right, guys, food has arrived. Let's look at it. Homemade pasta salad. There's the trail bologna. You knew I had to get that. They made that bun right here. It's a fresh chive roll. Never had one of those. Look at Bobby's. Bobby got the chicken salad croissant with the Homemade croissant right from here. What kind of soup is that, Bobby? Hearty vegetable. And it brought you out some cheese. Cheese and bread. Bobby's gonna try the chicken salad, but let me tell you what's all in that. It's in-house smoked chicken, celery, onions, grapes, toasted almonds, mayo, and house seasoning. All kind of goodies. Mm -hmm. Notice the festive plates that they put it on. It's really soft. Wow. They loaded it up. They did. I see the grapes. Oh, yeah. Celery. All right. I know we'll lose some of this. That's all right. 
Well, I know you like chicken salad, so how does that stack up? Rates up there pretty high. I like that this is homemade. I mean, that is just so soft. I mean, I took a bite and it just came out. <laughs> it did. They came out the side. Really put a lot in there. Good flavors with the um, mayonnaise and the grapes. And the celery gives it that crunch. Now, I got the uh, hearty vegetable soup. I usually get the tomato soup and they had it. Let's take a look at all the vegetables that are in there. You see some potatoes, green beans, some corn. Looks hearty. Mm -hmm. Some beef. Well, what did you think of the hearty, beefy vegetable soup? A lot of vegetables in there, which I like. The broth, beef flavor. So I think it's pretty good. I think you would like this. I don't see any vegetables in there that you wouldn't eat, the potatoes and green beans and corn. Okay, so that's their famous Swiss cheese up here. Up here in Amish country, they're famous for their cheese and Swiss cheese. And then they gave you a roll or a piece of bread for your soup. All right, guys, let's look at this trail bologna sandwich with this fresh chive roll. Let's open it up. Look at that Swiss cheese in there on that nice big thick piece of bologna. See the chives in there? Mm -hmm. And homemade honey mustard sauce for it. We'll put that on here in a minute. I'm going to try it without that first. Well, if you like bologna, you're going to like trail bologna. It's leaner. It's a little better flavor, I think. That Swiss gives it that extra flavor and those little bits of chive in there. A little onion flavor to it. Another thing, like Bobby was saying on her, that's so soft. So let's try this honey mustard on here. One thing I like on my trail bologna is I like mustard. So I'm just going to put this lather some on the end. I have two things of it. Let's try that. There we go. Now adding that honey mustard to it makes it even sweeter than it was with the Swiss cheese because the Swiss cheese is a little sweet to start with. But the trail bologna, I've said it before in other videos, this area, Trail, Ohio, is just right down the road. They make some of the best, and you can pick this up in different markets or go there. They'll even make you one there. But this is done perfect. I like it. One more bite for you guys. That is so good with that homemade chive bun. I like that now. Never had one of those. That's the thing about this restaurant. Everything is scratch made, so you know it's going to be good. One more look at that, and some pasta salad. That's made here also, using the bow ties, little tomatoes cut up in there. Looks like a lot of dressing on there. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor of the Italian dressing, and there's a lot of it on there, guys. Look, plenty of tomatoes in there. I like that. This is a good meal, but I just like the presentation of this. It's been a while we've been in a place that gave you like a little glass mug like that and just like yours and these nice Christmas plates and these comfortable chairs. Nice music playing too. It's not real loud. It just kind of blends in. We got a window seat looking out to this nice foggy day here in Amish country. And this is a weekday. It looks like in the summertime you can come up here and get you some snacks and then sit out on the front. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this meal. I wanted you to see how the chicken is shredded. It's not big chunks, which I like it better this way. And pieces of celery and the grape. Bobby's going to try the pasta salad. Looks like they get some orange peppers in there too. Get a cucumber. What do you think, Bobby? It's pretty good, and I am not a fan of pasta salad. But I like the bow ties. Piece of cucumber in there, plenty of tomatoes, some onions, and uh, orange peppers. I didn't see all that in there when I took a bite of it. That's so a nice little side dish. And the dish itself is nice. Mm -hmm, it's pretty. I like this little place, it's cozy. I'm gonna try Bobby's chicken salad. You can see that grape right there, so I'm gonna bite it. Pretty good bite. Bite into that grape, getting the sweetness from that, a little crunch from those almonds. Smoked chicken. Oh, it's, I know. It's pretty good, Bobby, but you know what? I still like the fried bologna a little better. It's hard for me when I come to this area not to get that. I think it's nice how they got the little table setting. They got the tree in there. Looks like some fake snow. Could be salt, though. 
That's cute. Look at this little pot. But again, look at the nasty weather we've had up here. Last night we were out driving around. We couldn't see. It was so foggy. And this is like 1230 in the afternoon. Yeah, 1230. Something else about this little restaurant, this floor that I'm showing you, used to be covered with carpet. But the owners ripped the carpet up and found the original cedar hardwood flooring on it. It's in pretty good shape being what 82 years old just thought i'd share that with you we have decided to go with the dutch apple pie we asked them what the most popular one they had here was and that's what they told us to get it's in another nice bowl for christmas for the holidays um so we got the dutch apple which is just got the crumbs of flour, sugar, and butter on top of it. Instead of like an apple pie, it just has the pie crust on it. And Dutch apple, I like better than just a regular apple pie. Do you? I do, but I looked it up. The number one most popular pie in the United States is apple pie. Very good pie. It's warm, tastes a bit of the cinnamon and the crunchiness of the topping. So that'll be good with that vanilla ice cream. Now they do not make the ice cream here. Yeah. So the house special, you get a free glazed donut with the purchase of a large coffee. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is. Let's take a look at some of these sweets in here. Some cinnamon rolls, cinnamon swirl, apple cinnamon, jalapeno and cheddar bread individual items. Look at those glazed donuts. Look at the size of those. Apple fritters. Tea ring. Have some honey wheat bread. White bread down there. Dutch apple pie for $18.50. There's plain apple. Pecan. Some brownies. There's cherry pie. These are half moons, 550 cherry, elderberry, apple, and black raspberry. Custard pie for $18.50 if you want a slice, $5.50. And cheesecake flavors. Black raspberry s'mores, New York style. S'mores cheesecake down there. And a 50% off section. There's prices on the ice cream and fountain drinks. And some brown sugar cutout cookies. There's the prices on those. Wow. It's some individual ones. An espresso bar menu prices. Let's take a look at our receipt at the Durbake Oven Bakery and Cafe. Bobby's chicken salad for 15. Had the pie and ice cream for $8.25. Trail bologna for $14. Grand total $39.86. So when you're walking out, greet it with this. It was a pleasure to serve you. Now to find the Durbake Oven Bakery and Cafe, it's directly across the street from the Antique Mall. We did a video from there. And that building is Bobby's favorite store up here. It's that candle shop right across the street, right there. Stop in, get you some treats, or stop in for breakfast and lunch. Well, we just left the Durbake Oven Bakery and Cafe here in Berlin, Ohio. What did you think about it, Bobby? First, I wanted to give a shout out to the staff. All those ladies in there were so friendly, but especially our waitress, Colleen. Super nice lady. Now, when we first opened the doors, you could smell all that baked goods in there, couldn't you? It was it just smelled so good. So we knew we were in the right mm -hmm. place. You go in and you go back to the table, and those chairs were so comfortable. They were nice and padded. It was just cozy, wasn't it? It was. Our meals came out on those real pretty festive Christmas plates. I got the chicken salad and the crescent roll they made fresh there. You could see how nice and soft it was. But they loaded that up. 
I mean, it had the shredded chicken was nice. It wasn't big chunks of chicken. Sometimes you get chicken salad and it's big chunks of chicken. It had the grapes, the onions, and the celery, and a little bit of the almonds that gave it that crunch. I like the hearty vegetable soup. It was nice for today, especially because it was chilly. Plenty of vegetables in there. And I wanted to also say, Marta and Barb, if you're watching, it was nice meeting you. It was a lot of fun talking to them as soon as we walked out of there. Now my meal, starting off with that pasta salad, which is made there. Nice Italian dressing on there. A lot of tomatoes. Bobby mm -hmm. stirred it all up when she tried it. I didn't know all those cucumbers and stuff were down at the bottom also, but love the flavor of that. Trail bologna, guys. I didn't know whether to get that or the pulled pork because they smoke it there. I'm in Amish country. Haven't been up here for a little while, and I love trail bologna. It's a no-brainer for me. They did that trail bologna nice with that honey mustard they put on there. Gave it that sweet taste with the Swiss, the homemade roll with the chives in there. Never had something like that. Good experience. Comfortable seats. Great atmosphere. Friendly staff. I'm going to touch on that again. I enjoyed talking to everybody in there because I talked to all of them out front when I was filming the case. A lot of nice looking items out there too. Did you see all that? Oh, I before I forget... I brought something home. What do you think I brought home? I'll give you about five seconds to think. Mm. See if any of you guys got it right. I brought a cinnamon roll home. You guys watch this channel. You know I love cinnamon rolls. Going to have that later this evening once we get back home. Enjoyed my experience in there. We didn't know much about that place. I didn't know if it was a bakery. We saw it said lunch on the outside, so we thought we'd try it. Now I'm wanting to maybe go back and try it for breakfast mm. sometime. We also got the... Dutch apple pie. What'd you think of that? That was very good. We weren't sure what to get on that. They had such a big selection. Mm -hmm. We asked them what to get. And they said that's one of the most popular ones there. So we tried it and they did a nice job they on did. that. Because John and I always share a dessert because we're always so full after eating. And I was full, but I could have ate that pie by myself. That's how good that was. It was very good. And I'm sure everything in there is good. Now that place was very busy. You guys might not have noticed that while we were filming. People didn't come in there and sit. There's a drive-through on the side. It was always lined up and people were coming to the counter and getting baked goods. So if you come up here and you don't want something for lunch or breakfast, slip in there while you're shopping or looking at the antique mall across the street and get you some of those baked goods. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. Yeah.